Hello everyone, welcome to my channel WPF and uh, in this video tutorial just I am going to uh, discuss about the X name and the name property of any control and here you can see that uh, error message will be generated when both properties are taken in a WPF windows form. The property name is set more than once if you take both properties in the uh, single control. So what are the difference between uh, both X name and the name property in WPF? If you can take uh, the X name that is uh, that name space HTTP schemas.microsoft.com winfx2006 XML Okay, so that property is comes from um, uh, X name that is B1 and the name property is come from the window so let's uh, discuss some more detail about the x name and the name uh, let's have to check okay so the first paragraph of about uh, x name and the name property difference there is uh, uh, there really is one more name in xaml the x name a framework uh, such as wpf can optionally map one of its properties of xamls x name by using the runtime name property attribute X name on the class that uh, design uh, designated one of the classes property of mapping to the X name attribute of the XML. The reason uh, this uh, was done was to allow uh, for the framework that already have a concept of name at runtime, such as WPF. In WPF, for example, framework element introduce a name property that is by the window. In general. A class does not need to store the name of X name to be usable. All X name means to XAML is generated a field to store uh, the value in the code behind class. Uh, what the runtime does uh, with the mapping its framework dependent. So why are there two way to do the same thing? The simple answer is because there are two concepts mapped into one property. WPF wants the name of an element preserved at runtime, which is usable through bind, uh, among other things. And XAML need to know what element you want to be accessible by the fields in the code behind class. WPF uh, ties these two together by making the name property as an alias of X name property. In the future, XAML will have more use of X name, such as allowing you to set properties by referring to other object by name but in 3.5 and the peer it is only used to create fields whether you should use one or um, or the other is really style questions not a technical one i will leave that is other for the recommendations so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos